Hi guys. So I have a product right here. Um, it's something that I don't know if it'll work, but it is a diamond multimedia standalone personal touch one touch VHS to digital converter. Um, I'm gonna tell tell you if it if it's pretty pretty good or not. Um, this is box. Okay. Um, yeah, so let me change things. So, yeah, so here's the box. It is, uh, um, this is, uh, um, a, um, digital recorder. It has an HDMI out. It has USB, so you can basically record to, to USB, or you can record to SD card. Um, it has component component which means you can basically hook up a VCR older camera or you can hook up a set top box that uses RCA or or you can take a what I want to what I hope it'll do is basically take a RCA to an um, HDMI adapter and then hook that to a device because I want it to basically use this as a capture device for another thing I'm I have a video I'm planning on doing for but the problem is I have a capture card that's over here, but, and it works pretty fine for what I wanted it to do because I wanted to hook it to a machine. It, but if this doesn't work, it's probably going to get returned. But basically, um, it, I'm going to show you what it comes with. Um, just, uh, um, so, it, it comes with the USB cable, RCA cable, power adapter, insulation for power director. It also has the VC500 ST video converter. Um, this is what the box looks like. So the information is right there for what's in there. Um, you, this is what's in the box. You get the recorder, which I also have here. And I have the power DVD thing right here that I'm gonna keep over here. It's right here. It's a license card, so something I can use. Here's the power brick for the adapter. Right here. It comes with a USB cable right here. It's the micro B. Pretty short, but I may have a longer one. Also comes with uh, an RCA cable, which I can use for this. And then what else is in here is the manual, which is pretty light on the manual kind of thing. So it tells you what everything does. LCD screen. Uh, stop to record it recording stop for a press to start start and stop recording in the recording previous state long press to capture a photo slash photo state you can put an SD card that actually it has S video has AVN so RCA so CVVS video so that's something right audio input HMI out for displaying it to a monitor it shows you the mu the bu button mode functions. You can also put a timestamp on here too. And uh, the product specifications, you can stitch it together. But going to this, this is what it is. Um, they have another one which actually has batteries. This one doesn't have batteries. This one is powered by five volt DC. So, or one amp. It has a volume button. It has um, left and right menu, power, mode button, and also recording. There's a temporary screen protector on here. Pull the green tab to remove the screen protector right here. So it tells you, here's the HDMI out. You can plug USB 
hard drive in here or on flash drive or it says flash drive but if you form it a hard drive probably you can put it in here um it has feet so it doesn't move they have another one which is a little bit smaller so it's the gen 2 one which is about right here where the sticker where the green sticker is at all the way to over where this button's at it, it's a lot smaller and the difference between that one and this one is this one only uses analog while the other one is digital so you can go from uh, from digital to like analog using the um um other one but you need a analog to like digital to go to digital versus this one um it for it's for converting vhs but you can use it for like other stuff and since uh, you can hang it on a wall because it has mounts for it for example you, you actually can put it for example up against the wall and have it right here and press record on here you can lower the volume for that goes to to these inputs right here and uh, you can go from s video so this would be great for if you want to capture a um gamecube slash n64 or 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 nintendo um wii um because they use uh, um av outs and uh, you can use it for vcr that's what i would this would be good for if you're trying to catch like for example the switch or the switch or the wii u or any other console like the ps3 ps4 or ps5 you have to go to analog to um, digital and from digital to from so from analog and to um to the hdmi to slash rca converter and from actually there you go from hdmi to to the console and it should just work but that's according to what I found out about this device because it's basically because as long as you can convert analog to like digital, digital doesn't really, really care about the actual sales signal it's getting. And most consoles these days don't care about the actual resolution because this outputs to 1080p slash 1080i. And you can basically, and the PS4 slash PS5 supports 1080p because of most TVs that are. Um, HMI have minimum spec location, I mean, minimum spec of 720, so, so, like, 1080p would be fine, and this doesn't get hot, according to where, what I was looking for, and also, if you just wanted, for example, look at, for example, so, like, a display like this one right here, you can basically run an HMI out from here to the HMI cable there, and then, from here to like the so you can basically play your actual um nintendo gamecube slash wii slash uh, slash um n64 slash ps2 xbox xbox 360 kind of if you're using the component cable cables um from here on on any hmi console i mean on any hmi monitor or ttv but it will be limited to 1080p, so yeah. Um, it actually has a, a, if you look right here, it has an actual, um, it actually has a, um, um, power slash, uh, power slash, um, stored, indicator right there and uh, I don't know if that's a sticker might be a sticker so you peel off this right here this is where the micro SD card goes or SD card whatever you want to use it uses um, this the most it can it can, it says it's compatible with the 32 gigabyte minimum but you can use a one terabyte micro sd or or 512 gigabyte 
um, USB. It supports on here a four terabyte or more, but that's not formatted properly. Okay, that's what you would get. So one second. Okay, sorry about that. My my computer was actually not was actually didn't have enough charge in there. So if you um, I'm gonna plug it in just so you can see what it's like. Let me just plug in my actual um. Let me just plug it into my USB hub right here. Because I, it's just a convenient power power source right here. So yeah. So I'm gonna plug in the cable right here. So as you can see, the cable's right here. Now let me plug this in right now. Okay, so it's plugged in and now it's powering on. Okay, yeah, I had to take that off. So yeah, so this is uh, the actual thing. As you can see right here, it has a volume seven, right four. So it maxes out at volume seven. And so if we go into the menu, you can set date and time. You can do a time watermark. You can touch signal loss detection. You can do auto stop recording if you wanted to. You can do a video size detection. You can do um minimum 640 by 480, which is fine for most stuff. Um, and then you can select video source which is AV slash S video you can select the default storage device which would be USB or SD card and uh, you can schedule recording which means you can start recording automatically factory reset set factory reset and the formatting you can do a firmware upgrade um I'm gonna have to actually figure out how to do the firmware upgrade real quick. So I'm gonna pause the actual recording and look it up. According to their website, they have no firmware update available just as yet. Um, yeah, so. So there's no firmware update available so they have mode you can look at video you can record video so and also it has a stop and start recording function and so yeah so you can change stuff i just want to see how this will look on the uh, monitor so I have a handy dandy cable right here for, for not this purpose, but for another, another purpose. So it's crackling in, see what happens. So the screen goes black. Ew. Okay, yeah. So. So if you plug this into a um, 1440p panel, it blinks. So which is weird. Okay, so
Okay, that's weird. Okay, yeah. So. Yeah, this is, um, would actually work out pretty good. I don't know if, if these, if this, if these can send a digital signal, because if they can, then that's sweet. But I'm not for sure, because it should be able to send a digital signal because of its RCA, and if you use a digital, uh, a RCA to analog convert, uh, a RCA to HDMI converter, you should be able to get a digital signal because of this box isn't doing the RTA conversion. So if you want to use this for um cheaper HDMI, because of you can get this off to, uh, on online for like around 160 bucks, or um which you would need also an RCA to splitter. So at at that point. If you're just getting this just to capture H HMI source, then I would not get this just for that. I would get it if you're planning on capturing um analog stuff too, for example, like um older cameras or older um set top boxes or basically GameCube slash Wii without having to get a a, a like converter, you can just capture them in their native resolution. Um if you wanted to use it, for example, um, just to um, wanted to use it just for example, just to um, as a um, as like an HDMI, then you could get like Elgato, or even have another one of these, which is basically the Gen Two one from Actual Clearview. And it basically has HMI and HMI, and it comes with a breakout cable, so you can go to um, our RCA slash component because it comes with that, and that one is like two hundred bucks though. So, but it does four K. It does uh, um, HMI input and output, and it also does analog output too with the adapter it comes with. So. Yeah, so if you need it, also it comes with the battery. I don't know if this one has battery because it feels like for not having it, it feels like for having a battery. It doesn't have battery. If I unplug this, it may just come on. It just may turn turn off. So I'll have to check. Yep, it just turns off. Meaning this is powered by this one is powered by um just cable. So if you're planning on using this uh um on uh. If you're just planning on if you plan on using getting this out in the field, you need, for example, a cable, a battery bank, and you can have a portable one just like the Gen 2 one. But uh, this one is mainly meant for if you're using analog gear, not HDMI. And it and it does it's plasticky, yes, but it's not like light. It feels pretty good for the buttons and stuff like that. But what I recommend doing with this one is, is if you just need HDMI, if you need HDMI, but you want to re record to USB, get the Gen 2 one. It's 200 bucks, but it also is, um, has a battery. It does HDMI natively versus getting a converter. It also comes with a converter just in case you want to use R RCA. Um, for like GameCube stuff and also other consoles. But if you wanted something that just is mainly good for like analog and can do some HDMI with with like a converter, then this one would actually work too. This was also cheaper. The the one, the Gen 2 one, is a hundred is two hundred and forty nine dollars. This one was a hundred and sixty bucks. Um if you were to buy it. Um, and only different, and, not, and the Gen 2 one is slightly smaller, and it doesn't have these hook things on there, so you can't attach it to, like, the wall. Um, you can basically, also, it supports more for formats of USB, because the Gen 2 one supports, uh, um, uh, NTFS, slash XBAT, slash other formats. This one only supports, if I recall correctly, um, um, what's that thing called? Um, 
FAT32, not XFAT, so it's it's limited to four gigabyte file files, meaning if our if I'm guessing you can only record up to four gigs of files. I haven't actually tried it yet because I'm waiting for my converter to come in the mail so I can basically try to make sure HDMI actually works. So yeah, um I hope you like it and uh, um I would totally get this if you need analog only and basically maybe maybe um um digital I will update the description if it actually works with actually digital or make another video I don't know so basically yeah it's it it turns on at least so yeah thanks for watching bye